Okay, well everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the discussion of education of the 5.0 society. But before uh, going to the presenters, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Pisopia. My student ID is 222-321-0008. And please, next slide. Okay, here are um, some members of the age group. There is Iin Tati Rumiati, and then there is Nazwa Rega Tanisa, and then Hanan Salsabila, and the last one is Berliana Wafik. Okay, let's the next um, slide. Okay, everyone, the first slide is about what is Education 5.0. And it will be presenters by me. And well, Education 5.0 is the use of new technologies um, to provide more humanist uh, teaching with a focus with a focus on students' social and emotional development and solution that improve in society. <coughs> well, everyone, we know that um, two years before, I mean, two years ago, we have met with pandemic era. And of course, by that pandemic, we are, uh, we are getting, what is it? We are getting feel to use um, the technology, something like um, we learn about something by Zoom Meet or maybe Google Meet. That's also one of the technologies that we use in this era. And because of the impact of pandemic itself, uh, we are gonna feel we are get, we are gonna feel to use uh, technology, and of course it what is it? It give us uh, the impact till now. Maybe that's from me, and let's going to the next um, materials. It's about what is the difference between education. Uh, 4.0 and 5.0 and it will be delivered uh, by the next speakers for Iin Tati Rumiati. The screen is yours. Okay. Uh, what's the difference between education for 4.0 and 5.0? Technological advances made by human from time to time are increasingly advanced and developing. Industry 4.0 and society 5.0 basically do not have much difference, but the concept of society is more focused on the human context. If the industrial revolution uses artificial intelligence as as its main component will society 5.0 only use modern technology only relying on human as its main component society 4.0 human now computer with the internet and the area of society 5.0 where all technology is part of human themselves. The internet is not only used to share information but to live, but live life. In society 5.0, where the main value is that human who are able to create new thought, technological development can find human existence and economic problems in the future. Uh, that's all for me. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for Iin Tati Rumiati for the explanation. And let's go into the next slide. It's about uh, benefits of education 5.0. And the presenters uh, that will explain about benefits of education 5.0 is Nazua Rega Tanisa. The screen is yours. Okay, thank you to the moderator for giving me a time to explain the second at the third material, 
I'm Nazare Gatanisa will explain about benefit of education 5.0. Generation, Generation Z now has access to education 5.0, an educational establishment that can introduce this aspect to their teaching philosophy and management process can develop in addition to technical knowledge, skills like collaborative work, better interpersonal relations, empathy and tolerance of diversity, creativity, conflict management, and the last is more fluid communication. And the most important thing in that era was students were able to work and were able to build a civilization 5.0 without losing the sense of humanity that was in them. Okay, maybe that's enough from me. I give it back to the moderator. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for Nazwa Regatanisa for the explanation. And going to the next slide, please. Okay, it's about what the relation between Education 5.0 and Society 5.0. And it will be delivered by our presenters is Hanan Salsabila. Um, the screen is yours. Okay, the society in 5.0 is a concept uh, to develop in 2016 in Japan. That means human and technological aspects uh, of the kind of societies. And the planet Melbourne in the same frame, there's education 5.0 whose objective, is, objective to, is to train young people to find solutions to social problems through technology. In addition to developing technology to increase productivity or get input, of course, uh, of course, the purpose of this change must be to improve uh, people's life, make everyday problems easier to solve, uh, and minimize environment, environmental impacts that occur around us so that they are natural from trade. In line with that, there is Education 5.0, which aims to train the younger generation to find solutions to social problems through technology. That the uh, development is day and age, the mutually beneficial uh, relationship between CHA education and social action goes to beyond the development and engaging skills and attributes like. PHA uh, education social action projects uh, have also been shown to support young people's emotional well being and identity and climate change. Okay, thank you. That's all from me. Okay, thank you so much for Hanan Salsabila. And let's go into the next slide. And it will be delivered by our presenters, is Berliana Wafikati Wafakin. So for Berliana, the screen is yours. Okay, thank you for moderator. Uh, the next one is, what's the rule of education management platform? A new platform for education management plays an essential part. Its primary function is to unify instruction and pedagogical process with academic operation as a whole. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for brilliant topic. And the last one is about conclusion, and let me read the conclusion. Education 5.0 is about humans, not technology, and it uses technology as enabler for adding value and increasing effectiveness. Education 5.0 pays special attention to the, to, the, to the aspect of privacy, ethics, safety, and technological mindfulness. The holistic approach here also means joining force of all key stakeholder groups, including government, education, and, tra and training providers, industry, Sporting structures, border community, and most importantly, learners themselves. Wow, 
um, let's go to the last slide. Like this. The next place. Well, everyone, do you have any question? Okay. I think there is no. I think there is no question, but uh, maybe I want to ask about your opinion about what we have discussed. Um, but for um, Nazwa, can you please um, open the first slide? It's about education of the five point four society. The first slide. The first slide. The title. I mean. Okay. Well, everyone, do you have any point of view about education of the five point four society? If you have, you can share about your opinion. May I? Okay. Yes, you may. Okay. I want to share about dynamic of education 5.0. So another dynamic of education 5.0 is the learning flexibility that is directly linked to personalized education. Also, thinking critically is valuable for education 5.0 because although it has no place in the classical education system, it forms the basis of student center, contemporary education understanding, and it's one of the most important competent competence area of this century to combine knowledge in the right direction by including different perspectives and to produce solution to the problem encounter. That's all from me. Yeah, that's really good. You know. Uh, in my opinion about education of the 5.0 society, of course, that's really, what is it? That's really give us uh, many benefits, you know, for our daily life because we know that everyone always use, what is it, the technology in this modern era is not only for students or maybe for the education field, but also for every field. Like, uh, when, what is it? Uh, nowadays, we don't need to go, um, what is it, work class, but we can work from home. That's also by the technology and also, um, we also in this, what is it, uh, education field, we don't, we do not, I mean, we don't need to come to school, but we can, uh, we can still able, I mean, we can still, uh, what is it, able to study by technology also. And something, uh, what is it, something like what we have uh, to do now, uh, we can meet each other by the by also I mean by the technology also and then we also can find it to something in technology and of course I think technology um is really support the education maybe from my opinion maybe from others mm, I can give may I yes you may. Okay, I think uh, education gives everyone a chance to acquire uh, new knowledge and learn soft skills that mm -hmm. then improve their, their life. Uh, education also helps to appreciate themselves uh, to their ambition and knowledge from an early age and to understand uh, that they have been given a once in a lifetime opportunity. Thank you. That's really good, you know. And I agree about the opinion of Hanan and Azua. But uh, what about Berliana and Ikin? Do you agree? Or do you have any point of about, uh, I mean, another point of view? Yeah, I think uh, I agree with Hanan and Azua. But I have uh, some question. Can I uh, ask something about the platform? Yes, maybe. Okay, thank you, Sophia. I want to ask something about platform is, what are some examples of platform in education? Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, maybe is there anyone who want to answer the question? Okay, let me answer it. Okay, do you know there are a lot of uh, platform education that support the education field itself? That's like um, what is it? What we always use um, what is it? One what is it? year ago is about like classroom or maybe um, Google Meet. That's also one of the platform that we use, right? And then um, in Indonesia also is like Ruang Guru. Yes, right. We always use uh, those platforms. Yeah. And then, but exactly, I think there are a lot of platforms um, that we can use to learn, or maybe uh, there are many platforms that support the education itself. But maybe is there any opi another opinion from others? Okay, is it enough? Is it enough, guys? <laughs> okay, thank you, Sophia. Yes, you're welcome. Um, I think, um, is there any another question? If there is no question, I mean, if, if there is no more question, maybe we will close our meet for this night. Is there? Yeah, because there is no answer, so um, I think our meeting is enough for this night. Thank you so much for coming to the discussion. I hope what we have discussed uh, in this night, it can be useful for us, and it can change our mindset to be better and better. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I am as the moderator. Say goodbye. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.